This has been a really awful attack on a young 16-year-old female. We've got specialist trained officers who are dealing with her at this moment in time and she'll be later uh, interviewed and uh, where hopefully we'll be able to glean some more uh, information from her for the investigation. Um, as I say, this has been an attack, a rape of a 16-year-old female, a young girl who was on her way home from school. It happened on Birch Road in Wardle, Rochdale, and it happened, to, it happened very close to where I'm standing now. The offender is described as a black or mixed heritage male, 30 to 40 years of age, of medium build, and he was wearing blue jeans at the time of the attack, and he also smelt strongly of aftershave. He pushed this girl to the floor, raped her, and then she was able to um, um, resist and ultimately pushed him away and was able to get home. So we're appealing for any witnesses that can come forward in relation to this. Um, it happened in this area, so I'm asking for um, members of the public to be extra vigilant. Um, we've got several lines of inquiries that we're following up, but can I ask for members of the public if they were in this area at that time, if they've witnessed anything, if they can um, provide that information to the police, um, can they check their CCTV, can they check their dash cam footage, um, and ultimately if there's anything where they suspect anything suspicious or I've seen anything suspicious recently, if they could report that to the police, that'd be great. So I'd like to reassure the community that we have got a robust investigation ongoing. The priority at this moment in time is her welfare and that of her family. And we have got a team of detectives who are investigating this offence. Um, we've got a police um, mobile police station here at the scene. We've got police officers and PCSOs that are doing house to house and are going to be ultimately in the area over the next few days to offer some reassurance to the residents. Can I can obviously understand that people would be upset and scared and concerned about what's happened. We've got a robust investigation ongoing. That happened last night when that was first reported to us and that robust investigation is going to be continued as we go forward and a plan is, is ongoing.